Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web, and it's another unboxing video for um, Vampire Hunter, or the Order of the Vampire Hunter as it's called now. And uh, this is one of the big box expansions from Blood to Dust. Okay, so we're looking at our first expansion for the Order of Vampire Hunters. This is from Blood to Dust. Again, it's a game by Filippo Chirico. And if we turn it over, it says, From Blood to Dust is a tense story of vampires invading your city. Race against the clock to find out why they are here, so you can repel them before the night causes panic on an enormous scale. Good hunting. The contents are 16 highly detailed plastic miniatures, 4 double-sided map tiles, 1 small double-sided map tile, 2 vampire ID cards, 69 tokens, 19 cards, 1 real book, and 6 new hunts. Let's get in the... Oops. And see what we have. Again, it's a game for 1 to 4 players, age is 14 plus, and it takes 1 hour to play. Well, one hour optimistically to play. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. We have the usual book. This time it's 19 pages. And we have no, um, not many rules. This, this one. It's new enough to after two. Two, possibly three pages of rules. One, one, two, three pages of rules. We're kicking straight in to the um, campaign. Um, is the one campaign to this, or is the two? There's one campaign for this. It's uh, 1, 13, 14, then either 15 or 10, then 16, 17, 18. Um, now there we are. That's the first part of it. Um, Next we have the tiles, um, you can see similar artwork for this as was with the original. One tile, again splashes of red where it needs to be, all these little icons, I'm not sure what they all are. Of the sepia look to the uh, to the boards, very atmospheric. I do like this. And you can see the couple of rats. A couple more down here. <laughs> and there we are. I'm looking forward to actually playing this. Looking forward so long to uh, actually getting this game. Now I've got it, I really want to play it. <laughs> Use the tokens again. Yep. And now we have a box of goodness. Not quite as big as the previous box of goodness, but they're again saying that it's an expansion. It's not the core game, so I'm not expecting everything. I'm not expecting as much in. You wouldn't really, would you? But here we are. Let's see what's inside. We have more cards, we have more minis. And that looks about it. So let's get down to the tabletop and have a look at these in more detail. Okay. So let's open these little ones first. What do we have? Activation night, activation day, encounter cards, and that's it. So let's have a look at the encounter cards first of all. Level ones, level twos, oh, more level ones. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. 
there's level 1s and level 2 cards there as you can see next we have the two day encounters not encounters activation cards both level 3 I'm assuming you'd carry on with this. The story would continue from the core game, so you, I don't think you would go straight into the From Blood to Dust expansion. But we have a level 3, and we have another level 3. And then it's the Activation Knight, where we have again two more level 3 cards. The other small cards in this set. Now let's have a quick look at the big cards that we have and then we can concentrate on looking at the minis. There we go. So we have a lurker. So on one side it's like that. And on the other side it's like that. And then the Elder card is Bloodlust. And this is Draco. Okay, so that is the two, the, well, both of the big cards that we use in this particular expansion. I don't know whether you'd use the others or not. I don't think, I would have thought so, but you never know. Let us have a look at the lurkers in this game shall we we have a few to choose from we have the same quite a few of the same mold ah sorry we have different ones here okay I'll put those two back and we'll get these ones out first. There's four, five, sorry, of this particular style. There we go. That. that reminds me of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin when he's won the boat. On the ring buckle with one, one arm raised with the middle finger raised. <laughs> oh dear. But enough about that. There we go. So we have, let's say, five of these ones. Move them over there so hopefully the camera will focus better. Hoping you can see these clearly enough. There we go. Okay, now I was getting a little confused because we have another set that is very similar to this. The other set, again, is jumping off. piece of masonry but unlike this particular pose oops, we now have this one now this is the one that was puzzling me I thought they were both the same and I realized eventually that they weren't it's a lovely dynamic pose oops and we'll have a look at the rest of these there we go really like these minis, I really do it's worth the wait this one originally started a couple of years ago, but so uh, they cancelled it 
because they wanted to do more work on the real book and various other steps and I think they really without reading the real book so if I were looking at the minis I think um, if the minis is something they wanted to work on as well then they did, a good, they did, they did it uh, they did it really well um, so as soon as this one came back onto Kickstarter I was on it <laughs> um, I wasn't missing this one because I did back it originally and then they cancelled it and uh, then they really then they restarted the Kickstarter campaign and there we go I'm very happy with what we have um, so there's those and then we have five more workers he's not quite as dynamic pose leaping off uh, stone masonry but they are in their own way very dynamic pose there's a lot of movement in these minis they've captured them really really well just have one more mini to go after these ones this is the uh, the elder which is saw uh, one of the cards now I've put the other uh, we put the core game away so I don't actually have it to hand in it to uh, allow a good scale uh, comparison between the hunters and these um, but there's not really all that much difference in this one it's not a massive character hopefully you can see that but he's big enough the wings and the extra set of arms um, make him look bigger than he actually is Again, look at the detail in the wings, the veins, really, really nice. <laughs> Looks like something out of Men in Black, doesn't he? <laughs> right, so that's it for this expansion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's bring the minis up so we can have another look at them in situ. Um, as I said, I'm looking forward to getting this on the table and have, learning how to play it. Hopefully the game is as good as it looks. Um, but that is something we'll only find out in time. But there will be painting videos to come of these, so watch out for those. But that's all I'll say for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.